Kamikaze pilots were feared by the Western armies of World War II because of their effectiveness and the sheer willpower the enemy had. Kamikaze, or Special Attack Unit, took shape in 1944 when the tide had turned against the Empire of the Rising Sun. Basically, they were losing so bad they said, Okay, if we can't train enough good pilots, let's just train people to go up, 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 and then go boom, 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 boom. Anonymous. That's actually a quote, yeah, you can try to find that. Okay, not funny. This is a serious and actually a really sad topic. Humor, it's, it's just my coping mechanism. So interestingly enough, the only people allowed to join these were volunteers. Huge air quotes on that. A one-question survey was given to Japanese men stating, Do you desire earnestly, wish, do not wish to be involved in kamikaze attacks? That's how they did it. They just said, do you desire earnestly, wish, do not wish. They were then told to select the option closest to what they believed in, and had to sign their name on the survey. So these men signed up, out of pressure, fear, patriotism, or more likely than not, a combination of all three. Imagine this, you're standing in a gym, and the teacher says, Okay, I know everybody loves dodgeball, and you all really want to play as a group, but whoever doesn't want to play dodgeball, just take a step forward. And then that one person will step forward, and everyone looks at him like, Ooh, I hate you. But that one person's going to be a lot less likely to do it. So that's what Japanese officers did. They lined up Japanese soldiers, gave them a whole spiel about patriotism, the emperor, and then asked if anyone didn't want to participate, and then just stepped forward. Of course people aren't going to step forward. They don't want to feel that humiliation and shame. I mean, I sure wouldn't. I'd be like, I'm, I'm going to go up there. I'm not scared. I'll do it. So they stood that line, and they became kamikaze pilots because of their lack of movement. Again, volunteering. These kamikaze pilots were actually pretty effective. So the Air Force reports that nearly 3,000 kamikaze attacks took place during World War II. These managed to damage 368 ships, sink 34 of them, while killing 4,900 Navy soldiers. Kamikaze pilots only had about a 14% chance of actually hitting a ship too, so all these statistics are on top of that 14% likelihood. Which is crazy, imagine if more actually hit. So my source on this was a really interesting article from today I found out. Make sure to read the entire thing, I'll look at the description below. This is just a crazy thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more, suggest them please. And thank you, like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all.